I'll do the notes, yeah. All right, welcome to In a Perfect World. I'm Vinny, and there's Flash, somebody over there. You heard the flash, the flicker, and the fire? I'm here. Yeah, right here on RealLibertyMedia.com, RLMRadio.xyz. And other places. Yeah, oh, everywhere. There's so many. I got a great title for the show tonight. Awesome. I was surfing through these movies, watching these old movies, and I heard this line, and it's going to fit the show. Ready? I'm ready. Tonight's show is entitled, Was It Extraterrestrial? No, it was from outer space. (laughs) (laughs) So, you're spelling extra, (laughs) extra Earth. No, the... The one guy on the receiving end of the question wasn't too smart. Yes, yes, yes. that's all that's fun. Just hey, there was some fun. Other, yeah, there was some other fun stuff back up in there too. Hey, Grim, we did it without you today, right? Nanner, nanner, finally, nanner. The day's not over. Fig- <laughs> uh, no, but I finally figured out what's doing all these changes is the wire, right? There you go. The dead gum wire. Yeah, so I had to isolate my you know enemy and. Attack. And uh, what I did was I watched what Grim did, and I, I wrote it down, and then I did it. <laughs> yeah, I'll still need Grim after the show, because all the con- con- consecutive button pushings is not uh, rested in my arrears of my mm. brain. Oh, yeah, that too. Yeah. Anyway, so, bots and bodies. Bots right, and All bodies, over the baby. Real Liberty media, and they're chattering like bots and bodies, too. Yickety, yick, yick. You going to say hi to these? Oh, fine I'll say hi to these candles. fine bots and bodies. And Barman being the best at top right there with Grimner. Great. And Mighty, the Moose Girl, right there. DC back brackets and anti Asmo. Chalcedony. Chalcedony. Can you even pronounce that? Grams! Squirrel! <laughs> now it you know that on, German. It depends on the spelling. Yeah. Now you know that uh, Germans cannot say squirrel. <laughs> That's hilarious at the end of the video. They cannot do it. German spies. That's how they caught them. Say squirrel. Marmot. Squirrel. Marmot. Marmot. Uh, I can't even say. <laughs> squirrel. I can't. Well, yeah, you can't say there. Yeah, you can't say squirrel in German, though. I can. I did. Why would you want to? Listen to me. I, I will say it. Uh, no. How am I going to know you're saying it in German? When did I fucking learn German? Right now. Watch. I hear him. Thank you. Listen. I hear him. I hear him. I hear him. I hear him. Bots and bodies squirrel. first. Squirrel. 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 Sorry. Later. Hey, we got a squirrel. Squirrel. I'm like Grams. I'd say squirrels. I see that. <laughs> I think you left off at, bo- at Barman. <laughs> yeah, at hey, Grams. I left off at Grams. So, yes. <laughs> Groovy Grammy. Man. Getting it on Wednesdays and Fridays right here on Real Liberty Media at 7 o'clock. Eastern time and evening. And after that, that be the I be Don C and Java Doctor 2. Judge Dredd, oh, everybody's favorite right here at Real Liberty Media. Uh, Sarah Hansel. Who's about Woody? I think Woody might have rolled off there for pizza. Uh, That's what he was saying, yeah. Two for four or a whole pizza for like ten. Yeah, I, I'm using so. the uh, Boston and the main pronunciation of. Uh, as pizza, yes. If there is an R in the word, leave it out. If there is not one, you're welcome to add. Yes, as my friend Masa might say. Wow. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, and there is uh, me off there doing a ponder gander. Uh, Boy, there ponder you are. Gandering. Yes. And Kate, uh, Rob it's works. Eight. Trust Double. no one. Vanna White. I'm not sure if that's really Vanna White, though. Weather dork. <laughs> phantom! It may be a phantom, indeed. The phantom. It's the phantom. In the ever delicious cyborg noodle. Bacoda! Ah. Yes. yes. <laughs> with cheese. Mm. I me... like my cyborg noodle with cheese, please. <laughs> it's making me smack my lips and right a, now. And a side of squirrel. And a side of squirrel. Ooh, squirrel. With some... Barbecue sauce. Did, what did you say? Squ- did you say squirrel? <laughs> yeah. I heard him. Uh, said I, I, I heard him. They got squirrel. me on their little bones. <laughs> yeah, I like squirrel. Uh, 
Well, there's you right there. There's me. Hey, me. Eating, How are you eating, doing? Eating squirrels. That's somebody. <laughs> Fr- frumpy. What a what a lover that guy is. His frumpy love. <laughs> he was all over you like a wet suit. <laughs> I thought he was going to be your gay accountant for a minute there. Hey, I mean, I have a position open. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. Hold on. Stop. Stop. Back the truck up. <laughs> <laughs> Goober's Zilla. Woo-hoo, the desert hawk himself. <laughs> now, do you want to say it or you want me to say it? I don't know. Huh. 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 I worked for this guy in California, and he'd say something, and uh, I'd, I'd say, huh? I would huh? have to tell me again, and then he'd say it, and huh? I'd go, huh? Huh? <laughs> and he'd, he'd tell me a third <laughs> time. <laughs> Southern American, and get them what Californians every time. I'm here to tell you. And the funny part is, is the guy that calls the slow guy stupid is the guy that's really stupid. <laughs> Huh? It doesn't translate huh? in the intelligence world. Yeah, you can you can get them chasing their ass forever, it, over and over. It's huh. it's like watching paint dry. Hmm. Uh huh. Huh. Well, it's easy and it doesn't cost any money. It's free. Wow. No, it's easy and it doesn't cost any to watch paint dry. It doesn't e- take no e- effort, no energy. Easily you entertained. Can, you know, yeah. Well. It helps if you have a bag full of, like, mushrooms. I had some mushrooms just the other day. A friend gave me some. Sure did. Some psilocybin. Well, I'm afraid it was not Whoa. enough. It, uh, oh. I, oh. I, I, just as soon as I was about to, to trip, and it, it topped out. That was the end of it. You went. Yeah. Ouch. Wow. But, yeah, it was. That's it was, the no good. Well, it was the laughing part when you get into the tracers or. Uh, <laughs> I know. Uh, That's I was fighting with. I was fighting with a sandwich in a restaurant one night on mushrooms. I couldn't uh-huh. pick up the sandwich. <laughs> it was just, and no matter what I did, and it would make me laugh because my mind was telling my hands to do it, and it wouldn't work. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it was weird. <laughs> huh? I wonder if they say "huh" in uh, Scotland. JJ's nines. Ask him. Is he here? I don't Say know. hi to the rest of hi. the Hi. There's Jay's Kiss. Nines, Jay's people. Mwah. Mwah. And with the underscore mwah. 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 Kiss and mwah. Yeah, that one. Voulez-vous coucher avec mwah. Oh, here we go. Stick to English. Mwah. Sock puppet and smart as uh, ah. something. And there is the uh, probably. One of the best stove bots around right here. The very one and only original Vanna Whitey uh, right there with, <laughs> with Vinny Tuores, or I mean uh, Benito Juarez. <laughs> si, senores, I am here to kill you. Not everybody lives in America, you know. I kill you, boy. I had to try that and see if the Danes can say squirrel. I had to try that on Cirque now. <laughs> All right. Cirque, come here. No, she's doing something. But no, tell her I'm, to come here. Do I don't do that. Do do don't yell radio, at her. She won't do, come. Listen to I me, yell mister. at her if I want Listen to. Listen to me, what mister. I'll tell Grimmer. What do you think? I just yell at you? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna, I'm going to get Big Papa on you. Yeah, I said, bring it. Come on to Denmark. Bring it. I'm at Freddy Town here at the end of the train. Yeah, and he ain't scared. Yeah, I'll meet you up there. I'll buy the first beer. Extraterrestrials in what? <laughs> no, it was. What is it? Extraterrestrial? No, it's from outer space. So it's extra Earth. Extra. Ah, uh, here we go. Wait, I'm gonna have to look that up because how do you yeah, spell extraterrestrial? Is it like extra Earth? Or is there I, another well, way to spell extra that means where, outside? Where do you of come up with Earth? Terrestrial land, Earth. Terrestrial. Well, we've got we've got a room full of you know. Brainiacs and outworld and outworld experiencers. Ask them for their opinion. I gave you mine already. If you don't like it, do your own notes. No, <laughs> can't throw it in me. I just did. No, uh-uh. uh huh. This it's spelled E X T R A, and then terrestrial. 
up That's or the way from it outside of Earth or its atmosphere. I knew what it meant, but yeah. but breaking down the uh, the word. Well, you're killing my joke by making it all complicated. Well, I was trying to keep it simple. Wait, tell me again. Is it extraterrestrial or from outer space, right? You're not listening then. Okay. The the first part of the... I, if you read it, you'd get it. Saying it is different, you moco. Was it extraterrestrial, question mark? No, it was from outer space. That's because the person being asked doesn't know what extraterrestrial means, like you. <laughs> well, I'm just trying to get, get a sense of what's going on here. <laughs> Nothing's going uh, on here. Outer space, <laughs> inner space. Now, it wow. doesn't make sense. All right, now watch. Watch what I wow, do here. the king of not making sense listen, is going to accuse listen me of to me, not making senor. sense. I'm going to take out the word extra, and I'm going to type in terrestrial. <laughs> of or relating to Earth. See? <laughs> I understood the word completely. So extra, like what? Extra Earth? No. Well, all right. Okay. Now I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm backspacing over that. E X T R A. Enter. Extra. It has the what? Extra dot com. We don't want that. I think that was a porn site. Is it? Hey, just let me know when you're finished so we can do a show. We are doing it. Should we look it up in the Urban Dictionary? Well, you seem to have to. Everybody else knows what the hell I was talking about. It was I a know, fucking dude. joke, man. I, I know. I got You're the joke. You're taking it all to serious I got, court here. I got Can the we... joke. I just forgot to laugh. Uh, oh, brother. Here's an okay. example. These example sentences what? are selected what? automatically. What? I don't know. I'd have to click on it. I'm going to select you automatically. <laughs> Over the top. So I guess that's where extraterrestrial comes from, from the Urban Dictionary. Extra means over the top. So over the top of the earth. That is from outer space. I got it. I'm satisfied. Are you happy? Are you happy? I was was always happy. I was born happy. See, Grimner, he knew. I was born with a smile on my face. (laughs) There's so much that can be said about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. All right. So, all right. We're on to the show now after the interruption. Yeah, the show after the interruption. Uh, pardon the puns. Don't pardon them. That was full pun intended all the way through. Now I'll laugh. <laughs> that was so funny. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, did you push record? I don't know what you did. Oh, goody. <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> now, tonight, the, the recording crap and all that's on you. Yeah, I got it going on. You're the genius tonight. Uh, shut, shut but up. Are, you, are you from outer space? You know, I've been... Uh, how high have I been? I mean, not smoking weed high. I'm talking about hey, you know, playing. You know that facial recognition crap that the, the Americans want to... Yeah. Shove through now. Uh-huh. That'll kind of prove that there's no such thing as uh, what do you call them, lizard people or aliens, all that. Yeah. Well, of course, uh, either prove they're not or prove they are. Hmm. See, one or the other. Not unless they doctor but, the film. I but, mean. Well, okay, please. When the government doesn't doctor a film, I want to see that. Well, you'll you'll probably <laughs> see one. They fucked with everything I've looked at so far, so but, I'm not impressed. See, yet. you would never know if there was really like lizard people. Then they yeah. would be like, uh, they'd like leak out stuff showing lizard people that they weren't really lizard, lizard people. And then they'd say, see, there's real lizard people. And then they'd say, oh, that's just conspiracy theory. And then, yeah, then you'd look like a nut because you believe in lizard people. Oh, I didn't say I believe in lizard people. I just don't know if there are such a thing as lizard people or not. I believe, you know why? Why? You know why? Why? Because I saw a lizard. Oh. Well... You I know what say, else I saw? Hey, what? you know what else I saw? What? Saw people. Oh, lizard. Well, you know what? I saw a sandwich, and I saw some... <laughs> Sand? <laughs> Never mind. And cat crap. And, yeah. No, uncovered. Yeah. You've uncovered the, the <laughs> conspiracy. Just put two things together that have never been put together before, and Goober will fly it to outer space. Well, listen, if people that collected lizard, there's a word for that that starts hmm. with an H... Uh, if they would uh, 
uh, collect the lizards, let's say. They would uh, <laughs> then be lizard people, right? <laughs> I don't know. See, it's all a matter of how it's presented to John Q. Public that has no idea about anything anyway. Well, let's look at it this way. If you had yes. uh, uh, bikers, you wouldn't call them like biker people. They just call bikers. So maybe you just call them lizards for short, you know, lizard ah, people. Ah, and, see, then and we already got be. those. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but when you put a suit on them, they look stupid because they crawl on four legs, you know, four appendages, whatever those things are. Uh, feet, hands, <laughs> hand feet. You've heard of uh, Government Employee Insurance uh, Company, Geico? Yeah. Yeah, the lizard. Yeah. I hate his little voice. Oh, they they should have made wow. him, yeah, they should have made him a little, maybe like an Australian, then he would have been cool, you know. Instead you know what, you know what? You know what I call insurance? What? That's betting against yourself. Well, that's true. Well, right, but guess what my wife does for for money? What? She works for an insurance outfit. Mm -hmm. Yep. See? So I know all about this kind of shit. So I don't do it. <sighs> Besides, I'm going to live forever, so it doesn't matter. Who wants to live forever? Me, I just told you I'm going to do it. You said you're going to, but you didn't say you want <laughs> to. I'm doing it now. I defy you to stop me. <laughs> what are you going to do to stop me? Huh? 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 You know, Poison a, my meatloaf? <laughs> a very small dose of lead kills instantly. <laughs> well, you know what? Uh, I think it's the poisoning from the lead that gets most people before the bullet does any real... I mean... Most of the time, let's get shot like right in the heart of the face or something Not critical. But you let's say that you you got shot in the arm and died from the gunshot wound. What killed you was the lead poisoning from the lead. Yeah. Now that's a theory. It sounds interesting. I might pursue that. Wonder if it's true or not. I've never had the pleasure of shooting anyone. Have you? I won't answer that question. I've only shot people with a camera. But I have been told that when I drink, I always ask, where's the guns? <laughs> oh, to play with a gun. You got a gun? <laughs> no, no guns here. <laughs> I went back to my friends last night, and they were hammered. Man, it was a big brawl. I mean, rough. <laughs> yeah, oh, man. Oh, people were flying. And, uh, it was grand fun. Yeah, I like to fight for fun. And you know, sometimes it all hurts. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was hey, fun. D don't you look forward to the future days when you're scavenging over the wasteland, looking for another person so you can eat their brains before they kill you? Oh, you know what? I've gone back. There was a bunch of stuff that I didn't pull out of that one that we talked about, uh, or I was talking about on our broadcast. The, uh, uh, yeah, Plague Wars. Yeah, so I'm going to listen oh, to, yeah. to book zero again on that uh, one so I can pull the notes yeah. out of it. I got a quick link I want right. to throw at you guys. Sure. I, I saw this over on Mines. Thought of Grimm and Rob works right away. Not so much you. You're more of a, uh, I don't know. Your stand on war is pretty similar, but I just think of those two crazy guys that are always yelling about the cops. Anyway, this one's called Shock Report. More Americans killed by police since 9-11 than soldiers killed in war. By Matt Agarist. And uh, here, I'll post a copy of it on the main feed of the reallibertymedia.com chat. That way, if you don't want to hear it, you can figure out uh, how long it'll take me to read it and go do something. <laughs> anyway. Hey, let me go get a drink while you're doing that. Uh, yeah, right yeah, yeah. Hold on. That works. <clears throat> uh, spread the love, people. Spread the love. Anyway. In a Memorial Day speech at Arlington National Cemetery, Virginia, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff Marine Corps, General Joseph Dunford, praised the 40 million Americans who've served in the military since the Revolutionary War. He also noted that 5,000 soldiers have been tragically killed in military action beyond U.S. borders since America's war on terror was launched after 9-11. Those of families grieve daily for their fallen loved ones, and the war machine that sent them to an early grave shows no signs of slowing. 
These fallen military men and women, were told, we are told, died fighting for our freedom. The terrorists hate our freedom, George W. Bush famously said after 9-11, and if this was true, they certainly have little reason to hate us now, <laughs> as freedom in America has plummeted since that fateful September day. For the last 15 years, America has fallen across the board in Indus. In Indus. <laughs> I think they wrote that. Incidences. In incident. I don't. I think they fucked me here. Rating the world's counties by levels of freedom. Americans are under constant surveillance. Our every move under a microscope by government goons. Protecting us from terrorists. We are under the constant threat of violence from the state for possessing a plant or having a tail ad out or simply walking down the street. Americans are constantly paranoid of those blue and red lights popping up in the rear view mirror that must always that most always end in extortion and could very well end with a visit to the hospital being locked in a cage or worse. In the land of the free, police killed more people in just one month of this year than the United Kingdom has in the entire 20th century. <laughs> in the land of the free, police kill at uh, more than 70 times the rate of other first world nations. They got it all black and blue. Anyway, that's the story I figured I'd dabble into while you were doing your thing. Cool. I, uh, what do you think? Yeah. You got it open or are you just uh -huh. listening? I got it open. Because, uh, wow, that's a lot of people. That's a lot. Yeah, so I was hearing I was, the, uh, the number was all the people killed in war? All since all the wars? Was, was, no, since 9-11 uh, was launched. Okay. Those, the last 18 years of war. Yeah, just uh, American soldiers have, then, because, yeah, yeah I came yeah, in right in yeah, after you started. Yeah. Okay. No, uh, because if you counted there. everybody that was killed, okay. man. No, no, no. Millions, this is right? in the land of the free. Yeah. You, know, you didn't hear the whole thing. Right. We are told to fear the terrorists, but U.S. police kill 58 times more people than all terrorist activity against U.S. civilians since 9-11. What do you think of that, man? Huh? 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 You know, they've, they've ramped up, and there's uh, – who's becoming cops? I, I watch a lot of these uh, First Amendment audit videos, and yeah. uh, Juan Ataco shares a lot with me. He's a real good source. Um, and so there's there's being a change. Some of these cops in some places are realizing what's going on, but then there's others. I just watched one in Vegas where, uh, oh, what was the uh, handle? I forget. Anyways, they got arrested for stepping one foot into the street. They uh, Well, they got to end up getting released and cited. Yeah, so some of these cops are trying to retaliate, um, but there's more people with cameras now. So there's the the uh, the rate of uh, you know killed by a cops probably probably decreasing because of it, but it's still happening. Uh, but there's more accountability from that also. And Maybe so, but 58 times more people than all terrorist activity against U.S. civilians. Come on, yeah. Vinny. Yeah, it doesn't right? matter if it. You got to think about this, right? I mean, if it's one person that gets murdered by them, it's one too many. So, this whatever they're doing is just over the top. Yeah. So it needs to be stopped, and there's no way to stop this shit. Well, see what happens is is they're getting these uh, people that have been come that are coming back, haven't been conditioned to to war. So a lot of these uh, <laughs> veterans, right, yeah. that have been yeah. over there, and and uh, you know. Can you imagine what that does to a person's mind? And if they already did, have it, the proclivity to uh, violence, and, and some people are built that way, uh, I lived with them for ten years, man. It's 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 not. It's, this is a little bit more exaggerated than life was when I was in the states. But I was there for the first uh, ten years of it, and I lived with military. And these people didn't seem violent and whacked out to me at the time. They're a lot different now, more so, I'd say, right? Yeah, well... Look at the uh, difference between the Vietnam veterans and the ones since the uh, the Gulf Wars. Uh, the uh, I was a teenager with the Vietnam vets, and I don't really... Mm, 
I know a lot of that really made sense when I was growing up through it. Moosey says more account- accountability. She says BS. Um, well, huh. numbers numbers tell you that uh, more filming, uh, yeah. more more yeah. First Amendment audits uh, would will bring more accountability. Absolutely, you think that it's a dream world or, or something? Or but, the courts are totally fucking rigged from one side to the other, and there's no way to beat them. That's right. If you so, if you go to court, you have lost. The idea is is to stay out of them snatching you up and dragging you in. Right? <laughs> yeah, well, that's that's my version of it. There, sport. But yeah. we're we're the slow witted ones, me and you, Vinny. Yeah. Well, but other I've, people uh, have superior intelligence and they know how to deal with the popo. Well, let me tell you, so I, I dealt I with them a lot. Go ahead. This uh, yeah, on my trip, I purposely put myself before them. And I did it differently. I support these guys their first a minute being uh, uh, audits being assholes and uh, talking smack to the cops because you know why the cops under any under no circumstances should they re- respond by their own uh, volition of uh, being offended because somebody called them an asshole or whatever, and then, <laughs> then taking that authority that color a law and using yeah, it over yeah. that next person. They're yeah. they're in by filming. That will bring the accountability. Yes, more accountability. I mean, you got to do something, right? Yeah. She's calling me a dreamer, and I oh, think that's funny. No. Because Let what have I on. done? Hold on a minute. Let me Flash. go on with this then. <clears throat> oh, all right. Yeah, the, real quick. What? How am I a dreamer? I've gone into the real world and faced these people down. I chased the FBI agent out of the courtroom, you know, as the undercover ex-agent, uh, Axe. Uh. <laughs> and, and, you know, he runs from me. He he won't comment to any of my questions. The other ones hide outside the uh, English. Uh, you know, I step in front of a squad car in Vegas, and uh, I go present myself before U.S. Marshals. Uh, you know, so is that dreaming? I just got to know, am I a dreamer? Am I really dreaming, or am I in the real pinch. world? Because pinch I don't yourself. sit here. You pinch, I feel it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't... I, you're you know, awake. Yeah. So my life is not all... Uh, by the keyboard. I don't whip people's ass just in the keyboard. Yeah, I do it in real life, too. I take an ass whipping, so, you know, I'm not a dreamer. I'm not a dreamer. But okay. they say we could be a dreamer, right, in a song? I don't know. In a song, they say all kinds of weird shit. Mm-hmm. But, back to my story. What's more, while the death of 5,000 soldiers is most assuredly tragic... That number pales in comparison to the number of U.S. citizens killed by police, many of whom are also soldiers. Prior to May of 2013, there was no independent recording authority on how many citizens were killed by cops. However, the FBI loosely estimated that number to be around 500 citizens annually. Simple math would show us that since 9-11, at the FBI's rate, police killed more than 7,000 people. However, that number is even higher now that places like killed by police, cop crisis, and the counted exist and detail every public killing by American police. Uh, sometimes people don't let me fin- finish what I start, <laughs> Vinny. Yeah. Using the most recent numbers from 2013 to the present and remaining conservative by using the FBI's loosely contrived number of 500 per year before then, the death toll reaches a whopping 8,296 people. <laughs> wow. Well, you want to throw a little word at that one. I, I, see, I was just saying, <laughs> when you were telling me to hold on, I wanted to read that. Uh, uh, <laughs> I got a cough of it. Anyway. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Mm. Well, what do you want to do? You're going to throw your you're going to throw this one at the wall or you want me to keep reading, sir? Yeah, keep I like you to finish. Well, let me see. There's uh there's not much le- well, yeah, there's a a bit left. I I'm going to read some, but then I'm going to take another pause. Continuing with the story. So, why are police in the US so much more likely to kill than all of these other first world countries? 
We will not pretend that cops in the U.S. kill 70 times more people than other first world countries for one simple reason. However, part of the multifaceted situation which has led to the trigger happiness of American cops is their training. Yeah, to go to Israel. Yeah. This ex- yeah, well, not all of them, but you know, the people that that are on the road doing the dirty shit get trained by people that went to Israel to learn how to do it really well. Uh, the Jews got a knack for murder. It's sad. This excessive violence has gotten so bad that American <coughs> police chiefs are being sent to Scotland <coughs> to learn steps to change this deadly paradigm. I spoke too quickly. A former hostage negotiator with the Boston Police Department, Chuck Wexler, brought a team of cops across the pond in a last stitch. <laughs> supposed to be last ditch, I thought. Well, maybe it is stitch. Effort to curb killer cops, and his story was documented by Sky News. Oh, uh, yeah, Sky News is like the CNN of England. whoop up Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. I can hardly wait. Anyway, most of this stuff is in big, bold letters. More cop, 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 kill, kill, kill. Um, There's not really much text left. So I'm going to quit. All right. Go on. Give me your two cents about all that going to Scotland nonsense to be all soft and squishy. Because I I told you, when I was in Scotland and the cops approached me, it was always very nice. and There was no intrusion. (laughs) So, yeah, I guess the Scots could teach the Americans something. Yeah. You know what? I, I told this story before, but when uh, when I was on the run out in California in the last of the 80s, uh, I, we got pulled over. And so I had my right arm out. I was past your road, uh, my right hand out the window and my left hand on the dash. And when they came up there, you know, they was like, yeah, they're not grabbing weapons or anything. And I said, you want me to get out? Yeah, you want to search me? Yeah. So, a wallet in my back pocket, and bills, dollar bills in my front pocket, and uh, uh, being calm, cool, and collected, they never ran my ID, and I was still free to be on the run. So, it's all in attitude a lot of times. So, uh, you know, if you want to make a point, like this one guy I watched this one video, uh, he he took it to such extreme over a $10 parking ticket, he ended up in jail, and for over a week and a uh, big fine and all the loss of time that and everything else and the property that uh, incurred. So, you know, if you uh, if you really want to put yourself in that position, you want to you want to push to fight the cops, push to fight the system like that. Um, there's there's certain rules that apply in this world and repercussions. And it's not a dream world to say that you want to to hold account to these people that are uh, violating law in costume. And, and it's very important what's going on with these First Amendment audits. Well, there's just so few of them, you know. There's it's not like there's... More. Oh, okay, fuck. There's not as many people trying to stop them as there are cops killing them. <laughs> Come on, do the math. Listen, you know what? Every single what? person should be carrying their camera with them and any time they're pulled over, uh, <laughs> film it every single time. And advise them and tell them that uh, for everybody's protection, this is being recorded. Uh, mm. And then yeah. hold them to account. If they violate the laws or your rights that uh, are supposed to be guaranteed, then take them to well, account. Well, that's, that's kind of a misleading way to put it. All right, The NDAA is in action. you got no constitutional rights. No, you? I know we don't. We, over. We live, we're you beyond... Don't have- we're beyond living in an occupation where you're living where it has gone extrajudicial. Uh, oh, yeah. If okay. if you're not taking time to listen, somebody shoot that duck. Uh, <laughs> thank you. If you're not listening to the Hal Anthony behind the woodshed, then. Uh, well, right, like I've you. told you many times, you know, having the knowledge over here, no use to apply it. It's pointless for me to do anything with it, but knowing it's good, you know. Who knows? Maybe someday Circle beg me to move to Delaware, and I'll say okay. <laughs> right, I'm and sorry. return and return to the land of my pupil, where the land is large and the police are larger. <laughs> anyway, but you're comparing old cops to today's cops. Yeah, so, yeah, right. Now, most yeah. of the cops that are doing the shit they're doing today weren't even alive 
when me and you were getting arrested in the 1900s. You're right. Charlie. You're right. So, and not only that, but if you lived a soft, cushy life with, you know, and you didn't go out into the world as a teenager and try to live on, uh, on your own and all that other shit we did, then <laughs> your outlook on, on your past, comparing it to, well, you can't compare it to our past because ours is too outlandish. Yeah, and that's very true. It wouldn't, it wouldn't make any, you know, it's like me being married to Cirque now is good. But when I tried this in my 30s, I, it was terrible. I was terrible at it. Does that, you know, does that mean the woman was a bitch and I did that? And, you know, because that's what most guys do. They bitch about the ex. No, nah, I just figured it was just didn't work out. Things things look good on Monday and then at, on Friday you look at it and go, what the fuck did I do? <laughs> Got, right? You got a siren haven't going. You ever, haven't you ever... But now I've got a movie going in oh. the background. Cirque took the dog and the cat out. But, uh... Have, <laughs> now you threw me off. <laughs> that, but, well, we was talking about cops and but, we heard a siren. Yeah, but you're... Yeah, you're comparing your the, the cop of our day to the cop of today. And they're not the same animal. No, you're and right. most of them weren't even alive. And the ones that were alive... This is the problem I got with it. The ones that were alive that came from where where we were <coughs> are now the monsters in control of these <coughs> monsters. It's lovely. Well, chain of command, you're responsible for what your underlings do. Apparently, that doesn't hold up anymore. Maybe this um, taking the Constitution away from us thing worked out way better for them than I ever thought. One can only ponder these things. Gander. I don't know. Then being so far away, and I got, you know, I just, I had such a cushy life here with no problems. No no civilization to deal with. You know, my biggest problem I got is road work. <laughs> They're fixing the road. Wow, what a problem to have. <laughs> so, there you go. That's fine. You could get a shovel yeah. and go out there and stand around and lean on it if you was doing that for a living in America. Yeah. Well, I could do anything. I, I, in America... No, I guess not anymore, but when I was there, I was free to do anything I pleased. I didn't I don't remember asking permission to do shit. Just did it. That's the way I would do it. Well, I don't think that's the way everybody does it. I made my own permission, me and Grimner. And my brother helped. How uh, how do you mean? Yeah, we printed up a, a piece of paper and laminated it. I didn't go to the court and ask them for permission. For then what, pass. Yeah, what was the difference then? Well, Nothing, uh, no. yeah, that's what I'd like to know. Um, and one of the marshals in there, when on the when the the whole case was being thrown out, I went to the front row and sat up there in the line of all the press folks up there. <laughs> he comes up and he says, uh, "That's for press." And as I turn around, there's my laminated piece of paper. And what does it say? Right here, I have it. It's official. Even it says press reporter. RLM Radio, Real Liberty Media, right there, and all the rest on Isn't the back. Isn't that something? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's just like a judge, right? You go into a court, and what I found out is there's ways to research if the judge that's holding the, the seat has signed his oath. Yeah, you know, um, that's what Bruce Doucette was trying to do in Colorado and these other guys. Yeah. Because <laughs> um, they quit signing an oath. Matter of fact, they changed... Uh, um, common law, which is actual crimes, they codified it in the Colorado Constitution, um, and I forget that all the exacts on that, but they they stepped around it. Now, see, Bruce Doucette and these other guys, they were trying to uh, sue these public officials, judges, and officers, and uh, of other uh, places there throughout the state, um, and filing liens on them, which became known as spurious liens, and then uh, they attached liens to these people's property, and then they got the FBI uh, informants and the uh, undercover in place, and they tried to entice crime, and, you know, there really wasn't true crime being committed there, but uh, the, the true crime actually being committed was by the public officials, and they, they loopholed around it by legalizing law, right? I mean, codif codifying uh, law. Uh, so, uh, codifying law. That's what I mean. This whole 
law thing is so out of control. It's ridiculous. And a lot of the people playing it, they have no uh, legal standard standing to do it. This is, you can't challenge it. And if you challenge it, they won't listen to your argument. No, they <laughs> won't. No, I, I watched plenty I of videos and it seen it your, in real life. Right. Well, I've been uh, I've been around a few lawyers in my life, so I, I I learned a thing or two, but not to the level where like you are, <laughs> where you sit in the court and you get to see the whole thing. But I had a lot of conversations with people about what goes on behind the shit. Ooh, horrid, horrid crap. And when you try to tell other people, they call you names. You're a conspiracy nut. You huh. don't know what you're talking about. I can call 911 and have you arrested. See? Yeah. And then all that's turned out to be so, you know, so far is what when we used to be able to call 911 for an emergency has turned into whatever the emergency is. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't matter. They're, there they're coming. That they're killing whatever's moving. That woman from Australia that got shot in the alley thing over uh, making a call about hearing something, blah, blah, blah. They shot her dead. And what happened? A, well, uh, if I got the story right, a woman heard something in an alley going on, called the police to report it. They didn't come right away. She went out to the alley to look for them. The cops found her, and she walked up to the cop car door, and the other cop shot her over the other cop because he, he was threatened by her there doing what she was doing. Wow. You know, another statistic for that story we were, you know, we were going through earlier. But that's what that's what that's about. It's just like going to the medical. You know, you go to the medical, and they kill a, a good thousand people a year through it, just fuck-ups. Wow. Incompetency, yeah. stupidity. And not held and accountable. Well, that's because they tell us there's rules to abide by, but there aren't any. They just tell us there's rules to abide by. When you go into the game, whatever the game you're in is, you find out that, oh, those rules are for everybody else. Oh, I get it. Hmm. You know when that's I, how, yeah, that's when, how it works. When I uh, bought my ticket in Vegas before uh, heading back this way, there was uh, somebody screaming for help. And the echo, I thought it was in the alley. So I ran down to the alley, and then I, I realized it's coming from the parking garage behind me. Uh, and I couldn't. Uh, determine if it was first or second layer uh, up level up there. Anyway, so I call 911, and I'll stay there on that exit to see if anybody comes out. But I guess he scrambled out through the uh, the casino out the front. Uh, when the when the cop was all done and I was like ready to approach him, uh, I raised my hands and I like wiggled my phone like I don't have a gun. And he like the look he gave me was like ah. Oh, for Christ's sake, man, you know, I'm not going to shoot you. Well, you know, I just want to be sure, right? Oh, Grimner's correcting me. He says that cop actually got convicted. Sorry, Vinny. No, righty. Threw me off because I was think, still thinking in the back of my mind about this because, uh, wow. I, I, over the years, I've read a lot of stuff on the Internet, and I've followed a lot of links that they, they end. There's, you know, I guess YouTube polls shit. You can't find the originals right. anymore. Things like that happen. So in the end, you end sounding more and more insane, talking about these things that regular normal people don't see or don't believe happen. Well, I, I normally, I'll pull my white privilege out when I get pulled over. Works every time. Oh, very, very rare Somali. Ooh. Well, it's very, very real. Oh, codifying. I'm trying to read the chat like you do. I don't know how you do it. No wonder you can't hear what I say. Huh? Mm. Woman gets engaged to 90-year-old <coughs> chandelier. Ha, that's an old story, too. <laughs> it's on the main feed of the RLM from Ha. Huh. Ha huh posted it. Huh. Oh, yeah, uh, see that if you got a gun and you don't know what you're shooting at. Uh, That's why I, I just, the only time I'm fit to handle a weapon is when I'm drunk out of my fucking mind. Any other time, in the, nah, I don't want to touch it. What for? When I'm drinking, the more I drink, the more fun I think a gun is. <laughs> Go really? for Yes, uh, it's embarrassing. Yeah, there's guns around here. Some people are uh, 
not as careful as they ought to be. I'd say. But it's only yeah, it's only drinking. Any other time, psh, get me high. Any any kind of you know heroin or downers or whatever you know, I scrounge up under the sink to snort or whatever the fuck that shit's up at. <laughs> According to Hans, <laughs> you drug, drug, drug addled, what, yeah, hippie? Yeah, uh, drug addled, yeah, because you know, I've got a $400 a day <laughs> habit to support here, man. <laughs> hey, you're not sniffing the drink cleaner, I hope. No, I'm still, still sniffing the waffle batter. <laughs> hey, hey, sir, came on. Hey, baby. <laughs> hello, sir, uh, hello. She is She's warming up the computer next to mine. <laughs> she, yeah, we're, we're running off the same electrical current. <laughs> Wonder why. Well, that shut you up. Baby. Yeah, I, no, you had me off thinking about electric, man. My uh, my okay, well what? pump. Yeah, my well yeah. pump cr- quit. Uh-oh. Uh, it was probably a wire down there that he didn't have hooked up right and came loose. Oh, yeah. So I got to get help to pull this thing back out of the ground. Oh, so, man, yeah. ain't that a bitch? Yeah, yeah, yeah I was yeah. all civilized, man. Now I'm yeah. having to carry water, and i got to carry, like, lots of water now because of uh. my uh, uh, my little gardens I got going. And I can't, yeah. I can't yeah. put my well bucket down and draw it out by hand because the pump's in down there. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you paint yourself in a corner like nobody, don't you? It happens, you know. But, uh, I mean, wow, well. I didn't do it. Point- you I, hired I the guy that did it, so ultimately my friend. you're you're responsible. Well, this is how things work, Vince. That's, that's why you, me, that's why me, I got to pull it out. Hire a friend. <laughs> let me introduce you to the chain of command. The chain of command goes like this: Nigger, go do that, and your nigger go and do it. And when you do it wrong, you kick him twice. You get it? Yeah. Twice, twice, not just once. Twice. That's good yeah. for you. Is it? Well, isn't that a bitch when somebody tries to help you out and it doesn't work? <laughs> or some, or it works perfect at first and then it settles and something shifts. <laughs> and, you know, the vibration just loosens something just enough to make it not connect. <laughs> I think I'm going to connect a couple of these things here. Like you were having that meltdown over your mixer earlier today? <laughs> I wasn't. Man, I wasn't even interested in it because I'm not, I'm not doing nothing with that. I've tried... Several times, I carried it around the country with me a few years ago, and took yeah. it to people that I knew that knew about mixers and like. I don't couldn't, know, couldn't figure I don't it know. out. You were getting more help. It was it was like seeing Van Meter when she was trying to get out of uh, California. Hmm. You had people giving you links and advice. Help. It's so frustrating <laughs> because yeah, you know, but, it's just frustrating because you know stuff don't life. Work for me. Life is frustrating, Vincent. Oh, no. Take Computers a number. are frustrating. Man, I'm almost out of uh, to you. stuff here. Yeah, oh, well, don't that. do that. Stop that. Yeah, no, the computer, I got the same problem with it that, mm-hmm. that you do. It's just, it smells so good. and Grim, Grim, Grim and Rob, I like picking on Grim and Rob for examples, but they don't, they, they don't have the problem with the computer. They got other kind of problems. <laughs> of the mental variety. Mm-hmm. You say that again. <laughs> because they're conspiracy. Oh, no, I'm talking about these crazy conspiracy theorists. Yeah, but when you get somebody that knows everything, is it what they yeah. call it? There's a word for that. It's a know-it-all. Yeah, so, yeah. That's, uh, that's my problem with the with the uh, Yeah, Pukok. Oh, because yeah. yeah, because yeah, Pukok's post. Uh, uh, Will you post? Yeah, what do you post? I post on stuff I'm working on. What do I post? Stuff you're working on. Why does it matter? I didn't say you. I didn't call you a Pukak boy. I don't care. <laughs> the difference... I'm going to have to get you a name now. You, you've done brought it upon yourself. Uh, you're going to get you a, a kind of a bird name. Oh. We can't well, call I you don't a, know. A, no, it wouldn't be called... No, what the, kind of bird Dodo, would a flash, Dodo a be flash right. bird... I want to be a flash bird. Uh, hey, did you notice this? I got something profound to tell you. Tell me. I made an astute observation about this just the other day. Wow. Online, in the social world, government standards run every social site that we use. Yeah, I believe it. But how do we get away oh, with so the stuff that we do on Real Liberty Media? 
Is it because it's so small that nobody's policing us yet? Yeah, <laughs> mainly. Could um, that be it? I, I'm going to assume, <clears throat> without proof, but mm. uh, everybody that's involved in whatever name you want to put on it, they like to call people whatever, <laughs> constitutionalists, uh, even stupid names like sovereign citizens. But people that are involved at my level are, are definitely being monitored. So um, I like to I like to ramble here for hours and hours, too, just to torture them through talking <laughs> nonsense. <so>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, tell Ryan. Yeah. I, tell Ryan English. I say hello. Tell him to call me at my home phone number. I'd like to talk to him. I have some questions. <laughs> I could. Well, I could put that in Morse code if I need to. Thanks, maybe. Anti. Maybe that's what the police are afraid of: is questions. Well, I know they are, because they wouldn't answer none of mine. They 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 killed what. Eight, uh, Eight eight thousand people in nineteen eighteen years. Such a deal. Hey, hey, twenty percent <laughs> off. No, me and my wife, or she's trying to read, and she's multitasking. She's a very clever. All democracy is fake. Wait a minute. Oh man, don't tell my cult members about that. Fuck. My cult falls apart. I'm in trouble. Huh? 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 <coughs> wow. There's we'll, only four of us. We'll, we'll get you some bowling balls if your cult falls apart. <laughs> bowling balls. <laughs> Somebody, oh, it was it was Ants. He was writing just ridiculous <laughs> crap about how useless hemp is. You know, just saying that out loud is enough. That tells you what you need to know, unless you don't know. You, and in which case you don't know, then you believe what you've been told. So did you see the uh, the thing that Grimner read there on uh, um, Grim Leftovers last night on the hemp and cannabis can save the world? Yeah, I listened to him today earlier. Yeah, uh -huh. I did. He did your morning. yeah. He did your story. Yeah, I missed it but last night. I got here after the show. You missed it. Oh That's well. Right. Yeah, I like to listen to Grimner live on Mondays, especially his. Uh, yeah, I, oh. his voice is mm. just enchanting in a way. Just to listen mm. to him talk. Oh well, no, I don't. I don't want to stay up till that time of night to Not enjoy there. anything anywhere right. except here. Yeah, I got so, you. So no, I do the reruns in the morning. Thank you. But no, I get a giggle out of that gravelly, uh, freaking Grimner voice to myself. I suppose. Hmm. And then we got you with the damn redneck drawl, making up words that don't. Have no particular meaning and taking words and putting them together to make some new meaning. That's that's cool, see, man. Yeah, but I understand the confusion it must set. Uh, remember when the uh, NSA was first being talked about on the on on uh, social sites, and they had that list of words that were being flagged. Like if you wrote "cloud," the NSA was going to look at your shit to see what you're writing about. Mm -hmm. And we used to use certain words on purpose to see if they were going to check on us, and nothing ever came of it. I'm going to type either a word. That, either that or my file is so thick, they can't move it anymore. <laughs> I don't know. Insanity is free? Hmm. Wow. I think I'm spelling it wrong. I've never said that. What did What did they say and you said? No, no. The The... Link. It says, innocent man asks cop for his name. Cop says, fuck you is my name. Wow. Wow. Are you kidding me? Where did they get these gorillas? I mean, wow. You, where, we, you, are in some serious doo-doo. <laughs> Here's a word for you. Homogenetis uh, serious. Ooh, wow. it sounds like a gay frog or something, right? <laughs> well, yeah, that's what happens when you put words together. <laughs> I don't know. But homo <laughs> is like homo sapien, which means yeah, same yeah. or man. So, or fag if you're a funny guy. Genetis, ge genetis is uh, uh, like genesis uh, or origin or man. So man, uh, uh, made, I mean. So it is man made. Talking about... Uh, Cumulus clouds and cirrus uh, clouds. 
look at right here. They've got these lovely pictures you can see um, of all these crisscrosses in the sky. And people used to say, do you mean clouds? Remember when we were kids and you could look up in the sky and just see clouds? Yeah. Uh, I saw a close-up of a, a plane spraying chemtrails on mines today. Mm -hmm. Well, i never seen the close-up picture of the plane in flight that I believed. You know, usually the stuff that I see, I, I question it. I did, some, yeah, I, got, I did some really good coverage of uh, uh, examination and pre presentation of the uh, geoengineering. Right. Well, they were saying, well, this is just the, the trails coming off the engines. And then when you look at the close-up of the plane, it's coming off the tips of the wings. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh, that's, that's not engines. Yeah, they <laughs> they try to say that the uh, that wind is, um, the turbulence, how it turns it, it makes it turn into that streaming cloud. But um, in order for a cloud to form, there has to be particulates for the... Uh, um, for it to latch onto and, and formulate these uh, droplets that will turn into rain. Right? Yeah, but when I was a kid, we used to sit in the grass and watch the planes fly and do this, uh, the spray thing behind them. But it would dissipate. It would be gone. And, you know, as soon as five minutes, it was already gone. Yeah. And here we are 40, 50 years uh -huh. later, and we look up in the sky, and this planes leave shit. And turn and into cloud. Spread. Yeah. And it spreads. Exactly. And it, it's got a life of its own up there. I don't like it. You can call me Maybe stupid if, if you want to, but I'm, I'm, I'm with you, Flash. I never saw that happen when I was young. Never saw pl plane trails turn into clouds. Never. Make Use your vast influence and make them stop it. Stop it! There. That ought to do. Well, they still they do something here about once a month. I think, on an average, maybe once every other month. Could be, give or take. And it's over the water, it looks like. But whatever it is, it spreads. Uh, I'm not impl I'm not pleased with it at all. Nor well, am I impressed with their fucking technology. Now, my, my question is, in the serious well, side, is, you know, they started this and ramped it up uh, and through a particular time period and, and over the last 20 years. Um you know, it's really accumulated into a mass program where, you know, it's you see it everywhere. I traveled the whole country. I, I saw it everywhere I went. Uh, through different times of the year it exists. There there used to be a parameter for condensation trails to, to form, and that was minus 40 degrees Celsius at 40,000 feet. The parameters have changed over the years from when that was set uh, all the way down to ground level. Uh, contrails, if they're called. Yeah. No, they're not contrails. Whatever that shit is, it ain't. It ain't what they're telling us. The only truth you're going to find out about it is, you know, the small guy is going, "Hey, I figured it out. Look at this." And you know, fifty or sixty people will get it, and then everybody else will tell them to shut up, like usual. I've Seems been to be out the, the way. You know, the the more right you are, actually, in this life. The less that people want to hear about it. That's true. That's true, too. I spent uh, a lot of time outside, you know, from from camping to uh, out on a tractor and, and bush hogging. And so a lot of time to be looking up into the air and observe. And, and I've seen it where they were flying so low, you know, we're talking just a few thousand feet. And then one guy in a smaller plane came down because I was filming him, right? And he came down and, like, right over the top of me, did a big dump. And it just, like, poofed out and uh, uh, kind of just spread and fell down to the ground. Just one big old poofy cloud. It's like, man, yeah. T poofy tell me cloud. that they're not up there making this stuff. You can't tell me that because I've, uh, I've observed it far too many times. Oh. And, watched and, like, and like we've reported many times. The United States, any place in this kind, in this world, the governments experiment on us in different ways, different means. Some financially, some physically, some both. But we're all getting experimented on, and it's okay because look at the progress. Look, five G's coming. <laughs> we're going to be able to talk so fast that 
I mean, come on. How how much faster does this shit need to be? Well, I got to go outside and walk around to catch a, a a bar or two to be able to use a cell phone here. So hopefully they don't put any tires over here for me. I'm good with that. <laughs> Phones. Uh, I still have yet to get a phone. So and Cirque has not got me a phone. So I'm good so far. Yeah. Well, I don't. I, well, I don't hardly no. carry. I got an extra one I carry just for uh, recording. And, yeah, but I, and don't I carry do any my of that. I carry my badge with me. My uh, this right here, <laughs> RLM yeah. badge. Hey, do, how's your ride along thing with that cop? Oh, I've you never gone it? forward with that. I really, what? Uh, I don't you really don't want to be bothered, but I might have to do it. Wow, but. you got me all excited for nothing. How well, mean? Maybe I might. I don't know. I think I'll be mad at you now. Yeah. I'm mad at you again. Then go on, go face your friend. Tell him, hey, I want to see you in action, bitch, so I, I can tell everybody what a piece of shit you really are. Well, yeah. I That'll get you. Hey, I'm telling you. I hey, scored. listen, I am going to do this, and uh, I got uh, yeah, I'll, I get free tickets from my friends, uh, Dan and Peggy. Oh, they've got, I don't know how many years, maybe 20, 20 years now or something like that. Uh, annual chuck wagon races be coming in Labor Day, so we had more Memorial Day yesterday, and so... Labor Day, I guess, is now we're Fourth of July, but they don't have any wagon races in. So we we got two big holidays now, and then Columbus Day, the really really big one, Columbus Day. Uh, I don't know what day is Columbus Day. <laughs> I don't know. No, I thought the big one was July the Fourth coming yeah, up. Yeah, I'm just pulling your leg over here. What in in June? You got a lot of. Do people still get married and get married in June on June purpose? Weddings. Yeah, I like guess some kind of a. My uh, cousin that, that just got married uh, a year ago, but it was like last month, so they didn't wait for June mm-hmm. marriage. He, he's born in June, so they probably didn't want to have the anniversary <laughs> birthday. birthday so, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. oh a holiday. It was in April. Yeah, That's where I was a year ago uh, then, but now a year ago, I've been back for just over a year here back in Arkansas. This year went by pretty fast. The winter was so short, and it wasn't really that bad at all. Wow, yours, mine too. We had a mild, easy circus. Hey, we didn't get more than a half inch of snow. Ah, and I was like, yeah, good. <laughs> but See, who I, knows? I don't even think we hardly got any snow. Maybe there was like two or three little light dustings or something. Maybe I don't even remember. Wasn't much. Snow. Uh, wonder where it went. Well, you got to save it up so you can make uh, snowballs. You no, know, Kim trails later on. <laughs> Snowball camp trails. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think they need that. They probably got additives to. They could probably make it out of boiling water. <laughs> hey, if they made them just right, we wouldn't mm. need the oil anymore. We could use them for bowling balls. You know, considering how much technology we've got at our fingertips and all this crap, it sure is amazing how fucked up we are. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Good Lord. Fluoride in... I'm still stuck. Fluoride in the water. I was just reading another thing about that. And there are still so many people that either don't know, don't care, or what? (laughs) No, that's not true, is it? Oh, yeah, it's true. They haven't seen the truth side of it. They've only heard the fluoride is good for your teeth and your, you know, hair and your this and your that. But they kind of forget the part about the third eye damage it does on the way. <laughs> you know, I'm not really convinced that uh, you would absorb any of that fluoride to beneficial use anyways. Now, there is a natural occurring fluoride, I guess, that comes out of the soil that, you know, like trace elements or something like that, that I don't know, maybe you would use for building blocks or something. I don't know. But this stuff here is just straight up byproduct poison that they're passing off and something that's good for you. Yeah. Now, I mean, you can't even set it down on concrete that it won't eat straight through concrete. <laughs> can't even handle it without without rubber wear. Yeah. But just a but, little bit won't hurt or what? It, no, no, no. Now, listen, no, no. I'm going to make brownies. I'm just going to put, I'm going to put some dog poop in it, but just a, yeah, I mean, a very a small yeah. amount. You won't even <laughs> taste it. No, it's there or nothing. Uh, and if I tell you that, are you going to eat the brownie? Hell no. Why not? It's just a little bit. <laughs> oh, fear. I, I'm to- nah, I'm totally convinced. If you said that to me, I'd go, oh, I ain't eating that now. You fucked it all up for me. Hmm. Well, this te- next time you have brownies and everybody listening, I want you to think about this for a minute. 
What if there was just a little <laughs> bit of dog poop in there? <laughs> now, wash it down with a glass of tap water, and it'll all be okay. Strangely enough, in one respect it's true, and in another it's possibly lethal, depending on what the dog ate. Ooh. You know, depends on the circumstances, what you do, give you your results. You know, and if, if you drink fluoride over like 40, 50 years, yeah, it's definitely going to show some sign of damage at the end. And the kind of damage it shows is not obvious to most folk. Because uh, it's it's on a level of, of uh, how you see the world. It's not like uh, something you can put your hand on. Oh, look, this is it. It's different. It's more mental than physical. I'm going to look something up. Okay. I remember as a kid, Spavanol was the uh, water supply for Tulsa. And I think that they didn't even treat it. But I may be confusing myself with New York and their uh, conduits of water there. Uh, so I'm going to look up when did they fluorinate it. But it seems to me as a kid we didn't have fluorination there. Well, I don't know about... I can do a look and see when they started if you want to take the mic for a second. Oh, I was looking at it. What Are, are you looking for the same thing? I got it. Yeah. Here. To what? learn when your town was you know fluorinated and which fluor, fluoridation chemical it uses, click here. Fluorinator alert. Let's click it. Oklahoma. Well, I've I've read as much as between forty and seventy five percent of the drinking water is you get different different reports. So yeah, and I also read that the fluoride they used to use came out of Florida. Then they decided to buy it from China, and China's also got arsenic in it on top of the fluoride. Very nice. So, yeah, and then you when you look for how many states or how many people are drinking it, you get reports between 40 and 75%. So, somebody's telling the truth, but who? <laughs> I can't figure this out. It's just so convoluted and so many years of this on and on, back and forth bullshit. This guy says this, and then two weeks later they come out with an official report that says the opposite. So then you got your two sides. Well, and then they come up with a third thing in the end, and no, nobody's happy. Is uh, butter better now or not? Where butter. Does, uh, <laughs> butter. <laughs> where does Tulsa get its water? I already know the answer to that. And you know what? The water became contaminated. Spavanaugh did because of the uh, all the... Uh, uh, the chicken industry, nitrates and stuff. So it says the water and sewer department manages, operates, and maintains the city's water and uh, wastewater systems. Tulsa's <coughs> drinking water comes from two sources, Lake Spavanaugh and Yucca on Spavanaugh Creek and Lake... Uh, uh, I don't remember how to say that. Ulu, Ulugu? Aluga. Yeah, Lake Aluga, that's how you say it. On the Verdigris River. I don't even know where that one is don't remember. Mm. I've been gone from Oklahoma for so, so long. You know, of course, I went back there a couple of weeks ago, or two or three, you know. Nah, that's not the same. It's not. Uh, uh, but I still uh, haven't found out where or when. Yeah. Well, it's still, it depends on what source you use to read your information is what you're going to get. Because exactly. you're going to get... You're going to get people that say, well, and when they brought in um, fluoride to the, the dental people did this, right? What what they leave out is that the practice of brushing teeth probably didn't, it probably wasn't popular as far as everybody went until they did that. Listen so, listen to so, this headline from the, 2014. Well, let me on finish that. my, hey, let me finish All my right. point. Go ahead. Oh, it's it's, oh, it's oh, adding wait. to your point, too. Oh, yeah. uh, well, go ahead. Go, no. All right, uh, well, real quick. Fewer and yeah. fewer Oklahoma communities are adding fluoride to their water, largely due to cost, a trend that concerns public officials <laughs> from Tulsa World. Really? Is, hmm. See, where well, you get your Well, not only that, right? but they use, see, they use numbers as a way to manipulate truth to per people that don't think very deeply. Right. Right? So if in the 1930s they introduced this toothpaste, this in a magic tube, you could just get it. You don't have to make it yourself. 
however, however many people there were then, don't compare to how many people there are now in the first place. So the success that they got was from the action of doing something. And the bad side of it is the fluoride that they were using is not the fluoride they were telling you they were using. Yeah. Now, the damage yeah. that comes from fluoride use takes a long period of time, but it works you slowly. Yeah, you see people with the teeth from fluoride? I don't know. I've I, I've seen people with, with and without over my lifetime, and I've been in different countries for periods of time. So, hmm. And America is not the only country that used fluoride. They got screwed. What? And there's other places that did. But they learned from their mistake, and they stopped it. America's still doing it. Did I, did I kill you there, Vinny? No, I was still trying to find out. Oh, you're looking for something? Yeah. Right, I'll yeah. stall for you. Oh, but I don't I, think yeah. I'm going to find it because the Google's going to got to have it all covered up. Hmm. Well, and I was saying that when I was a little kid, I remember sitting out in the yard, seeing the planes, and you mentioned how high they flew. And back in those days, they had to be 40,000 feet because the plane was so small. We, you know, we had to sit still to keep, you know, because if you're walking, you're going to move wrong and miss it. <laughs> One of them little uh, propeller or prop plane? No, no. It's a big <laughs> fucking jet plane. flying. But it was, you can't take a prop up that high, can you? I don't know how they, how, how they go. I, I flew one from up uh, where but what I, it out is, of Bangor to Boston. But LAX was about 20 miles from the house, so we, we had planes that flew over uh, where we lived. Not like on top of the house, but overhead, so you could actually see the whole plane. And, it, and the difference between that and the ones that were leaving the contrails was huge. The difference in size of the plane. So, yeah. yeah well, also, if, uh, if you have a good scope where you could spot the planes and, and you'd have to be familiar with the different type of... Uh, Things up there where you can identify it. Now, by no. extrapolation, yeah. but by extrapolation yeah. at how big the uh, the plane appears at arm's length. So if you held it out there, and if it was like, uh, it's like a dot, and you can barely see it. And that's probably uh, probably up there about forty thousand. It's just uh, yeah, give or take. Right. You could see the you could see the trails behind it. Uh -huh. So you saw. I remember seeing more of the trail of the of it moving than the plane itself. Right. Now, when you drop down to what they say the uh, flight uh, height uh, today is, is between 26 and uh, 34,000, I think. So the, the plane, then you can see it then that it looks like a plane, right? So at, at those heights, you would have a, it would appear so certain size. Now, when you get down, let's say 18,000, to uh, you know, ten to eighteen thousand, and then when you're down below that, into the six thousand and below, it's obviously how big the obvious. You know, the plane's very low, so you can determine uh, altitude in that manner. If, uh, if but you'd have to have you have to have a lot of information there to be able to do that and measurements and uh, you know to scale everything for your. It, it's al it, yeah, simple uh, algebra, right? But if you can hear the damn plane on top of it, then you know it's flying low at yeah, a certain... It's not flying so high it can't be heard. Whatever height that would be. Because, uh, you know, when planes fly over where you live, you hear them. Yeah. So if they're flying up high enough, you don't actually hear them, but you see them. But you mm -hmm. can't hear anything. Yeah, then you know. Well, there you go. That's what I'm telling you. When I was little, not since, since those days, they're all gone. I can't reproduce my childhood in any freaking way, shape, or form, even here. And it, it's close. It's very close. But then the things like the, the chemtrail planes come over, fucks it all up. Yeah. Well, that, they, they uh, in my research, like I said, 40,000 feet was uh, was norm. Um, but now these all these numbers and everything have changed. And mm. For whatever reason, they're flying planes lower generally, but you still see some planes at 40,000, they're just a dot, so, I mean, why, why, sometimes, why not others, I really, my <laughs> yeah, opinion, yeah. honestly, is, is that the, uh, the upper atmosphere has been so screwed up by, uh, not the everyday man, but by the promotion of the corporation and their actions and, uh, the result of that, I mean, we had acid rain all through the 70s, just pumping that crap out, and then, in California, the smog is still bad, but I mean, it used to be like 
you know, you had to wade through it. So, you know, there is addition by activities that is going to cause problems. But when you start getting up there in the atmosphere, what what harm is just the mere exhaust causing? You know, it, did they drop it from 40,000 because they thought they were screwing it up there and decide that we better run most of them a little lower? And that way, it don't take as long to fall to the earth. I don't know. What I don't. I don't think so. Well, I I don't have the answer to all these questions, but there's well, a lot of I, things. I've got my memories and what I saw. And right. I never saw the shit in the sky when I was growing up that I see now, and I didn't put it there. So guess who did? Somebody did. There you go. It doesn't matter. See, all the all these people around in my lifetime, always looking for who to blame and never really addressing the problem that that they're that they're really upset about. They're just looking for somebody to to punish. Yeah. Like this Hillary fucking thing. You know, oh, let's punish. All these people over all these years that, oh, Hillary belongs in prison. Not one of them felt one bit of sympathy for Gaddafi. <laughs> because he was an Arab towelhead bastard, blah, 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 right. blah. Wait yeah, they, a minute. They murdered him brutally, murdered yeah, him. Yeah, oh, yeah. They handed him to the enemy to fucking, you know, just to make it worse. Mm -hmm. Humiliate him first. And that Arab world, that's a really bad thing. But, you know, in all these years, I've still yet to see anybody defending Gaddafi. But a lot of people, oh, Hillary belongs in prison for what she did. Email problems or some kind of shit with a fucking uh, server. Some crap that's... Who actually knows what the fuck they're talking about? She deleted 30,000 emails. I don't think so. I don't think that woman wipes her own fucking ass, but you're convinced that she took her fucking valuable time to sit and delete... 30, have you ever tried to delete 30,000 yeah, emails? Yeah. Um, Do you know how long was, that would fucking take? You know what? Listen, uh, honestly, I had... I don't know how many thousands. It was... And it took me days. Because uh, I, I couldn't do, like, a mass thing. I just, uh, you know, wanted to sh wipe all that out of there. But I gave up a long time ago on that. Um, so I have, like, I don't know, seven email accounts. Uh, yeah. And but, I don't uh, even check them. <laughs> hardly ever, ben, I mean. I was, I was leaning towards the ridiculous side of a woman like Hillary Clinton sitting down in front of a computer for multiple days. I doubt it. Click, clicking a button. Yeah, Are you I, fucking serious? I don't believe she'd do that, no. I, I don't even know if the woman can read anymore. I, I don't mean, know that. Who she, knows? She couldn't dedicate that amount of time to such... Maybe, exactly, but that... Or the, somebody that lives in a bubble like that, at that level of society, is always being watched by somebody of it, you know, during the day. you got appointments, you got meetings. You can't sneak off for four or five fucking days and delete emails. People yeah. would know. So, but all that shit... Whether it's true or not is to distract the public from, hey, the USA went in there and fucked this guy because he went off the petrodollar. <clears throat> that was it. He was good to his people. He didn't like the Jews, blah, blah, blah. But, hey, what the fuck does my opinion have to do with your life where if you don't agree with me, I should have you bombed? I mean, yeah, what, what? There was a lot of thing, great things that man did for the people of his country and first country and um you know, put the money back in. I, I don't know the numbers. Somebody got married, then they get some money. Yeah, you know, I college, read all that. Uh, yeah, that's Kelly, the point. All their that you know, so, hospital, all that everything. socialism, Vinny. That's what the Americans are fighting not to have. So you know that kind of success with your government. Well, we're in a dog eat dog fucking society, if, pal. Hold not on, here, look, but look at it this way. Now let's compare some socialism. Um, he actually more, I guess, had a dictatorship that had socialistic values to it for the people in it. Now, here in America, um, if we could have a socialistic type programs that are funded not by stealing from somebody, but let's say the natural gas and oil that's being used right now, um, if that were to be na uh, nationalized and not robbed, you know, that's usually you nationalize something and you, they steal it, right? So that's that's how. But if, if honestly that could be done, what uh, what could be given over to uh, so many people? My my friend, we I went to Tulsa with. He says everybody should uh, alive should have their own piece of land. Um, you know what? Where do you accommodate that? But I mean, there's there's so much right that is uh, should be in this world that's not, and and it's. Uh, 
you know, it's the enemy of the occupation. So to to be able to attain that sort of thing, these people with the money and power, they're not just going to give it up and walk away, right? No. What would you? If it was you, what would you do? If it was me, what would I do? You think I'd be all sympathetic toward the little man and fuck? No, I'd be my fucking. Go. Yeah, I've already got one. But I'd be, I'd be doing. I'd be just enjoying the best of the best and probably give two fucks about anybody else. That's the nature of that game. I don't see how. I'll it, disagree. Uh, I think if uh, you were not, if you had full ability to to retain all that you produced, it, you know that's what wealth is. Oh, you're, you're yeah. You're, well, yeah, hold on you're, a minute. You're, you're now, in the same world. You would be. We everybody would be prosperous, right? There would be no need, no artificially generated. Um, scarcity system that the world operates on now uh, and people have shown that uh, in their abundance when not forced they give uh, freely to, to charities um, and that's that's throughout history even you go to ancient Greece uh, the wealthy you know they built built parks and libraries I, and, I was you know, going that, that direction with it. Right. Yeah, I was taking it more to the selfishness of the modern mind and I think I've got one. I grew up with one, so I probably still have it. And uh, I wondered that if I had billions of dollars, would I really give a fuck about you anymore? Would I? Why? And then, if that was the case, I would start, you know, Flashville, build my own freaking city. Where are all these wealthy people, and why don't they do anything with their money except fuel the beast that's already there? Because... The game is a bunch of shit, and once you figure it out, when enough people figure it out, it'll end. All right, so let me say to that, the the billions of dollars in wealth that uh, are created out of this artificial system, uh, who accumulates that amount of money are those uh, people that, uh, I would say, at their heart are evil, corrupt, uh, with uh, almost without exception. There's a, a saying in the Bible that goes, uh, it's easier for... Uh, a, a, how's it go? A camel to pass through the eye of a needle than a rich man to enter the gates of heaven. And something similar yeah, to that, I think. Yeah. yeah. So the eye of the needle was like this small gate at the wall that a person could pass through. But I want to tell you this much. Also, another saying goes that once the camel gets his nose under the tent, he's all the way in. So I mean that uh, might counter that just a little bit. It's going to force his way in. Um, but the the intent of the heart now. In the, the system that we operate in, it's a dog-eat-dog world. So those people that have gone to that position and fought through it all have been probably done a lot of wicked deeds. Now, in a true free society, uh, a person would be free to uh, lollygag about uh, or, and maybe, oh, I just like to do art. And, you know, it doesn't take nothing hardly for uh, food and for housing and clothing, you know, because... Well, you wouldn't make a pair of blue jeans that, uh, like they do now, that are going to wear out. That way, you got to go buy more. If, if you were making some good pants out of uh, hemp, you know, you could probably have a pant, pair of pants that last you five or ten years with no problem whatsoever. So it's all in how it goes. So, anyways, then people, other people would be like, "Yeah, you know, I'm all about uh, doing this work and making this right there," and and they would accumulate a mass amount of wealth and they would be like I have all this stuff and it's like I didn't get it through this power for power and, and uh, control but uh, just out of the you know the desire to be productive and then you're like I have so much what am I going to do with it well I maybe I'll just take some of these uh, bricks that I made and I'll go over here and uh, build a school you know for the community right here no you won't no you won't well, I think uh, I think that I would certainly and I yeah. think the heart, the in a true heart of man, world. with within that perfect world, the true heart oh, okay. of man would desire peace and prosperity. Okay, and then you've got the oddballs that want to sit on a bench with a shotgun and protect people. Okay, we've created this mess with you know society. These gorillas that can't really do much else, so they wear uniforms and costumes and. Run around with weapons and beat people up, and now they're killing them. Part of the system. So, well, right, but this is the system that we have collectively allowed. And when you tell other people, I don't want to play in your freaking collective system, 
then they either mock you or call you names or make fun of you some some way or another, you know. And uh, harassment because if you feel you're successful about something and you tell somebody else that and they don't feel successful at that certain level of whatever you're talking about, they get pissed. Well, that's because they're coddled, and that's just society's teaching people to be offended because something else that somebody has or said or whatever. You know, we're all responsible for ourselves. But that's what I think, but that's not the way it but works. We're in a rig. Yeah, we're in a rig game. It's three card yeah. money. Yeah. yeah. Wow, they're duking it out on the real liberty media dot com chat tonight. Oh, I ain't done this in a while on on in a perfect world, but it, to our hardcore twenty out there. Listening to me and Vinny rattle and debate the epic topics of the day and the past. If you're feeling generous, send Grimner some dough. You know, keep the site going, and if you appreciate us, that would be a nice way to show it. There you go. Listen, I'd that's all the begging I can do. <laughs> I want to add to it then, if that's all you can. Go do. ahead. Yo, yes, yeah, sir, yeah, yes, sir. Done. I'd like three bags full, please. Um, four those specific people you just mentioned especially um, that's part of this uh, group that we are conglomerated at disagree or agree uh, take uh, and set a certain amount for a monthly or a weekly donation and repeat it throughout the year and at the end of the year uh, when all the bills come due um, hey after that our fundraiser next year will be all for uh, adding some glimmer and stuff because Grimner puts a lot of bells and whistles around here and um, takes equipment and sort that sort of thing so yeah please 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 and uh, I'll, uh, I'm right in the middle of rolling something so here in a minute I'll go get a link and drop it over here in the chat <laughs> yeah no I, do, I don't think there's anything wrong with doing a little begging on the show every now and again doesn't hurt and if it does bring in a few bucks, it helps, you know, everything else. That, that's what society truly is. That's why this is all socialism. When you're dealing with a society, you're acting in socialism, you freaking word nuts. Good Lord. Good, bad, or indifferent. It's fucking, st it's still the same, you know. If your skin is white, you're not black. <laughs> and vice versa. But you can say anything you want on the Internet. You can be anybody that you choose to be in type, but some people really work hard at the characters that they've created. <laughs> I mean, I, I, my character is just whatever the hell I think at the time. Uh, some people, uh, like you, you've got this obsession, Vincent, and I'm, I'm not knocking it. I'm just making a point of letting you know that I know, I just treat you differently about it. But your obsession with the truth is what nobody else has. <laughs> it's it's got to be lonely there in that that search for the truth. Me? No, I'm never yeah. lonely. Yeah. Not even a, alone in my ever lonely. Let's see if that works. Grimmer, you don't have to get the better one. Well, better see, you, you took it out of context, you bonehead. I was oh, well. trying to put you on a. I was trying to put you on in a perfect world pedestal oh, for I all did. the little I people did, no. out there to look upon you and see your greatness, there, Bosco. Oh, well. But you didn't. You didn't get it. All right, everybody that did. Then. It's it's what I mean is not a lot of people, Vincent, on the you know on in real life, whatever I you want to that. explain this shit. Have your interest in the truth, sir. That's what I meant. Not, <laughs> not that everybody's a lying sack of shit. It's you've taken it to a level in your life that you saw something that the rest of us didn't physically see. And if we did, it might affect us as deeply. <laughs> but I think between the the court thing and uh, the gun thing, <laughs> you're you're somewhere else. Thanks, man. Uh oh, what's I, going on? I ah. opened. I clicked it, and it opens to the same way that I opened. Uh, that my my link it gives the description. So I'm gonna. I was gonna open it and save it, but I, <laughs> that wouldn't do any good to reshare it. So I've copied it. And I'm gonna go paste it over here in the. Uh, is this it? Yeah, Notepad. So I got it. 
Welcome to Nerd Chat with your host, Vin E. What? Continue, nerd. Okay, bro. I almost did it. There, page. Well, you, Ooh, look at that. Now, I did I'm, yeah. it, boy. Copy I'm and paste. I'm uh, definitely not putting that down in my notes. What? What you just did. What? <laughs> Was it extraterrestrials? No, it was from outer space. You know what? I'm going to call extraterrestrial. In hmm. order for me to have uh, enough dirt that's just not like nothing to grow stuff in, like food, food plants, yeah. I had to like scratch together topsoil. And so I put them in the, the tires, right? They're growing. Yeah. Yeah. So by accumulating that extra dirt and putting yeah. them tires, I'm going to name it my extraterrestrial garden. <laughs> there you go. I, I love, that's what, what I love really about is. you, Flash. Your mind is just like, it really just brings the right word and proper description of things. I, I use it all the time, you notice. Well, in in a perfect world, you get on the right frequency. See? And whether you like people or not, uh, man, see, that plays into this thing in a way it shouldn't because whatever the message is that we do need to know, Picking and choosing who tells you by their personality is not how to do it. But that's the only way we not we've got. We don't know any other way. Personality contest. You call me a name too many times. I don't want to hear from you anymore. That's right. You know, if you want to be insulting to me and, and constantly, yeah, constantly, always, yeah, questioning this. It's just just a freaking little yeah. you know chat site, a little radio. Yeah. And, and now, nah, and don't, don't here, come antagonizing people. Start with provoking yeah. fights. Continually, and there's several yeah. that, well, not several, there's, you know who you are. Just making you a point know out. who you are. Straighten yeah. up. Whining right. like a little dork yeah. I'm you. in a perfect world yeah. because and, I can. Yeah, don't get mad when I come slap you back with words typed into a chat room and call you out tell you what you are. Hey, yeah. give I'll do this. I like change. to fight. I fight I'll, for fun, baby. I, I, I fought with you. Hey, I fought with you. Yeah. But, and the, the the best part about a good fight, though, is is if you finish it and you find out what the fuck was wrong in the first place, you, know, you can usually make a deal and never, you know, trip over that hole into tried. that hole again. I tried, well, no, and then I, I spit I, my face. So, well, with me it worked. I, I yeah, don't know. But you, me and you are friends. That's the difference. See, uh, you and I are friends. So, like, yeah. uh, with my uh, friends last night and them drunk and they're having a big brawl. Well, mm -hmm. I I come on there. Stone cold sober, and I'm in the middle of it, like it or not, you know. If I didn't, I could leave. But hey, yeah. it's fun. I mean, to take one girl, it was I, I swear, actually in the air, uh, straight out, flying like Supergirl, and to hit her old man, and he turns out of the way just in time. She sails past onto the couch. Jeez. Boom, wow. boom. I mean, doing flips and all kinds of stuff. And you know, like they, the hits were hard, yeah. You know, so. For me, it's good to you know take these hits with these younger guys and um, well, it softens up to knock some stuff that's like maybe tied up and they're bound up, knocks it loose for one. But it also keeps it for limber and for uh, when you're in an actual situation, you know you don't have to be as scared of being hit. So in real life, if somebody attacks me, I defend myself. Yeah, well, you know, in real life, what's got my attention right now is. If this money game that we're we're all playing was true, why doesn't ever there's never been anybody start their own city? Hmm. There's a, a slab city. Um, there's it's kind of like a well, like yeah, American they free town. They, they didn't do that for money though. That's what I mean. Is is how come a billionaire doesn't go out into the fucking freaking middle of nowhere and just start from the the dirt up? Dig everything, blah blah blah. Do you, do you know but, the the uh, cost of building a city? Could you imagine the cost of one building? Then, if you're a billionaire, what are you going to do? Can you maybe go build one building, and then you're broke? So, <laughs> the complexity of the system. Wait, that, wait, 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 wait. See, there, there you go already. You, you haven't even heard my grandmaster. No, you haven't heard my grandmaster plan. All right, Grimner killed the Vincent Easley duck. And besides, you're 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 being too particular about it because what I'm trying to get across to you is that if a guy like Bill Gates or whatever or this what's that other idiot with the um, 
the website thing, the uh, Facebook. Uh, Donald Trump. The Jew boy. No, the Jew boy. Uh, the Rockefeller kid. Uh, okay. Facebook. Now he's got a Jew name. Uh, fuck. Zuckerberg. Oh. Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg. I couldn't fucking remember it. You. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, that guy. Yeah. yeah. That guy supposedly got, like, he's worth $70 billion. Now, the way I know it's not real is because... If he had that kind of fucking money, he could afford to start a whole new fucking city. You but you use your own money. You borrow a. This is a game. This is all bullshit. You borrow against yourself. All right. So you build a city. What are what are we looking to build in here? Are we going to make bank buildings or what? How Why? Are we, how are we going to finance this this business here? It you would can't. Be, what are right, you going to do? So Just go spend seventy billion dollars so and build it was me, seventy right? buildings, and then what do you do? Okay, so I'm going to tell you. I didn't. So. Slow down a minute. You're talking too fast, like salesman. Back up, Chuck. Now, I'll, I'll be Flash the billionaire, okay? Right. And we'll use that as a number. It's not. It does. It's a representation of an idea. You uh, don't be so you know anal. Back up a little bit. Have a little fun, okay? You with me now, there, Bosco? So far, I'm <laughs> clicking a link. All right. Though. All right. No, stop clicking like and, and this is like a, All right, I'm laying back. I'm not looking out. I lifted my glasses. I'm listening. Go. Right, but see, what you're doing is you're using the number instead of the idea. And what I'm saying is, if th this money thing was true, one of these ego fucking maniacs would have started. Why isn't there Trump City? That ego fucking <coughs> maniac thinks the world revolves around him. You can see it in his behavior. We got, he's got lackeys on the freaking RLM, people that think he's wonderful. I mean, wow, that's pretty bad. He, uh, he's got hotels and Taj Mahals and stuff like that. Right, and all this ego, but how come there's no fucking tr Trump state? You know, the state of Trump. Why not? he's a scammer, dude. He, he, he made his money on, like, <laughs> that's what I mean. murders he's, and assassinations. Yeah. He's related to the the guy that stole Tesla's papers, but that beside all that, right. I mean, just it, it's like here we are. We find out well, he's related to the guy that last saw Tesla's papers, and this is like his uncle. <laughs> so, gee, just what a coincidence that he decides to run for president when he wasn't ever going to run for president, and his name is Trump. Hmm, figure it out. So, being as Hillary did kind of win the fucking uh, popular vote, you would think <laughs> the Electoral College wouldn't go against that, but they did. Why? It's protecting themselves. That's what the whole well, system is set up to do. The illusion of choice, for one, is just fucking brilliant. But if Hillary was in power, the same things going on politically would be going on politically. Nothing would fucking change. It That's never right. changes. It'd just be... People bitching They're about just continuations of the shit that was going on before the this idiot got in the chair. The last idiot that was in the chair made this mess for him to play in, and then he comes in with his clean the swamp and he puts in Goldman Sachs bankers. <laughs> First fucking move. Ah. What's most you talking about? <laughs> I have no idea. But uh, what are you talking you about, Lucy? I don't know. I, I'm not no, reading I'm talking, the chat. I'm, I'm talking to Moosey now. Mm. Wow, I'm staying out of that. Oh, Thank I don't you. know. Grimner said no Vinnies. I don't know. What? I don't know. All I'm know. saying is, is the concept of that would, would should bring out some egomaniac that wanted to create a whole new thing, but it never does. The the big players always seem to throw their, their wealth back into the, the original game. So it keeps the money amongst certain people. When you're dealing on that big of a scale of money, you're not dealing with me. <laughs> Hell no, no, no. Are they no. dealing with you, Grandma? I mean, am I missing something here? Maybe it's uh, who else is around? So uh, anti. If if you had a billion dollars, if I remember mm. these numbers, you could spend well, two thousand dollars a day. Well, there you go. Stuck on the numbers. Yeah, yeah. Well, the money, the numbers is fake anyways. They're arbitrary because what is it? Uh, when I was, let's see, in the late 1960s, about 1969, I'd say, coming back from the grocery store with my grandma and grandpa, and $20 had a whole back truckload of groceries. Yep. You know what you yeah. get 
uh, with twenty dollars now, uh, one you can carry by bag. your pinky, yeah, a bag. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, numbers, you know, that's all fake. It's all the, the cheat system, and uh, by matter of fact, by the way it's designed, it has to uh, continually ca cannibalize, eat itself up. It's a disease. Yeah, the Federal Reserve Bank. Yes. Fractional Reserve Banking practices is what we're dealing with. Absolutely. And eventually they always collapse. No, nobody's survived yet. And this is probably the longest it's lasted. But if you do the math and you look at the numbers, they don't look good. So they're explaining all this bank debt that they have in interest rates and penalties and all this other shit. And then they're just telling you about the stuff they owe. <laughs> So They're not even getting into the debt yet. Do you, you remember the the Great Depression and the crash and all that? No, I've read about it. Yes, yeah, so, I, I didn't live through that. Right, but you know that was created and engineered and designed to to be able to man manipulate the market to do that. No, then it was passed on purpose. So we get these yeah. bubbles, you know, that these uh, housing market bubble and all that stuff, and the. Uh, the uh, uh, the bank loan, the the what are those banks that you know the scam they had going before that, all this other stuff, but they're all set up and designed for the fraud to perpetuate and the scam to continue because you got to keep, oh, oh I guess we got to go make some more numbers to put more dollars back into the because that right there got bad and too big to fail and this sort of thing, robbery, robbery, it's a whole system, you know, who makes the money when uh, buy it pennies well, on a dollar. Okay, but how come the simplest part of this whole thing is the the interest to the debt? Okay, they they sell they sell the dollar to the bank, the Federal Reserve sells it to the bank plus interest. But the money that the interest that part never gets printed. Yeah, ever. there's there's a lot of ways it, they're putting the money in. One, <laughs> the main thing for the Federal Reserve notes is that they print the money up and loan it to. The uh, treasury at interest and, and the amount of money created on top of that, that interest, that is never even created. So even yeah, if the whole debt is paid back, then you still owe the deficit that is this interest, this scam. Um, it's called the Ponzi scheme. You know, everybody know Bernie Madoff with all the money. <laughs> all right. uh, How did he do I that? Yeah. It was set up so that he could do that. That's how the system works. It's uh, set up for loopholes and for theft and manipulation. Right, but at the level that we're playing on, we aren't. Uh, we're not. We can't. We don't to, have that. We don't have that at our fingertips. That's to right. Get we involved can't go those, to. Yeah, yeah, we can't go to Wall Street. These people, they like to get suckered into the the market. Oh, I made a killing in uh, the stock market. Well, yeah, it's gambling. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, I mean, the rig and, gambling, yeah. And besides, what would it have to do with the market? I mean, if if they can do what they're doing on, on paper with computers, what do they need us for? Well, you got to have and a sucker. It's like, it's, right, but it's they give a, a commodity of value. and But in the meantime, they're trading up and down or back and forth on the stock exchange. What? Yeah. It, put, the, the whole concept is, it's back. like my thing of, of if you have, Set it up into the sky, uh, and it and it doesn't come right back down. I don't want it to go up into the sky. Leave it alone. <laughs> okay, you know what I mean. If it's going to stay in the sky and hang there, don't do that. Well, I got that same opinion. What about balloons? Are you in favor of releasing balloons? Not really. What about rice? They say not to throw rice at uh, weddings because it kills birds. I gotta uh, say, uh, how ridiculous is that? What about all the birds in the field that eat rice? There's thousands of acres of rice. Oh, we gotta put up nets to keep the birds out of the rice field. You know that. I I don't go to weddings. You don't. No. Do you eat rice? Yeah. Oh, you like a rice? Oh, I like a lot of foods. I don't want to talk about food. What are you, some kind of redneck or something? Yeah. Did you did you fall off your well, I just th don't think that the 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 principle I, I'm standing on about my billionaire world idea is it's just that over the years so many egomaniacs who supposedly had billions of dollars and da 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 da. Well, how come they never tried to start their own city or you know and improve something? No, 
So then now in the 20th century, we get this, we get these front men like Trump and uh, Elon Musk. There's another one. They're going to fuck everybody on this electricity and the batteries one way or the other. And they don't fool yourself. You're, if you're playing with the shit at home and all that, they're, the people in, in, uh, that have this stuff already know the answer. They just don't want us to know the answer. So they're going to keep us chasing our tails. Oh, use batteries. Oh, use... It. No. It's all bullshit. We're being had because we're lazy. People don't want to just say, no, enough's enough, and stop it. So I don't know how that uh, Tesla uh, thing works. I can't describe the mechanics of it. But basically what it does is uh, uh, takes resonance out of the atmosphere and converts it straight into electricity. One single device right there. It's just like... The natural vibration that occurs and that uh, can be like captured out and sent right into your wall socket. Yeah, yeah, but see, you're you're putting it. That's what I mean. It's still the same thing, and not. And what I'm getting at, way beyond all that, is it's delivered to us on this on a wrong harmony. The harmonics yeah. behind this yeah. action on purpose. And average Joe does. That's where we lose them, Vince. They hear that part and get bored. Oh, never mind. I, I already know all that. I see you later. I got. I gotta go do something. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm. But you know, it's it's nice to have all this knowledge that we've acquired. You know, the group. There's a fuck, and I'm telling you, when somebody needs a hand on the RLM and they post their, you know, I need the help. Give me a hand. There's five people there to give them advice. Uh -huh. So yeah, well, it's it's always fun to watch because I don't always understand all the you know all the details, but I get the point. You ever seen a train wreck? Mm. Oh yeah. You have? Mm hmm. You didn't derail it, did you? Mm. -mm. I, oh no no no, not me. I when I was a kid, this I've seen kid the aftermath. Of I think train. I was in yeah. fourth grade or fifth. This one uh, kid put rocks and stuff on the track and derailed the train, man. They came with the big boys. Must have been some good-sized rocks. I don't know. That's cause They derailed the train. They sure enough came. So they well, whatever. Put rocks on the track, so I don't know. Cause yeah, because I put pennies on the track and smashed the them. Weight of, the weight of a train. I mean, You know what? They compared a, an ant to a human, right? And in, from the comparison is an ant can lift... 16 times its own weight compared to a, a human man. What do you think of that? So an ant is technically stronger than you are. I used to do a handstand push-up at 208 pounds. Yeah, but you can't lift 16 times your weight. I can. Fulcrum and lever. Ah, no, that's using your brain. I'm talking the old-fashioned way. Pick it up. Uh -huh. The ant can pick up 16 times its own weight. We can't We can't compare to that. An ant can't build a fulcrum and lever. An ant can live in a society and uh, in harmony. That's because they're drones. They're, well, yeah, but there's different like kinds. Borg. We are Borg. They will, yeah, yeah, they don't kill. They'll drown a thousand of them for... A hundred to get across the creek. There you go. And it's just nature. Ha See, we can communicate and we can talk about all this other shit and this, that, and the other. What we can kill each other too. Plants. I don't. I never see the plants. You know, duking it out in the yard. Plants. <sighs> Or the animals, even. You know what? Uh, oh, you we never seen animals fight? Oh, yeah, they fight. Wait, sure. wait, wait. I didn't say I'd never. I'd uh, say where I'm at. Oh, is, so you so, have tame animals. Yeah, you know how yeah. to catch You know how to catch a unique rabbit? Unique up on it. Yeah. And you know how to catch a tame rabbit? Mm -mm. Tame way. Ah. No, yeah. I forgot that part. Listen, down in Texas, they got uh, rabbits. They got antlers down there. They it, during rut season, they really kick up a ruckus of fighting. Jackalopes, yeah. You know, between the inoculations and these fucking cop killings, and uh, what else was it? Chemtrails and society's not looking very attractive. 
I hope the, that the society that you live in, if you're out there in Radio Land catching the show, uh, I hope you don't live in one of those places because that would drive you to the brink of nuts. TV? No, I mean, living in the city with all this stress from, you know, cop killings and uh, chemtrails and just being overcrowded over in general. Like a rat. Or maybe not. Well, some people don't. Maybe they don't ever get be, get to that point where they feel that way, so they don't even notice it. You know, it's like a, a measure of pain. If you don't feel it, it doesn't bother you, then it's not a pain. It's only a pain if it, if it bothers you. But, like I said a couple, I think, a little show back, is if you kick your... You know, kick your table in the middle of the night, not paying attention to where you're going or half asleep. That pain is so that you don't break it and not know that you broke it. So Life's a struggle, my friend. No, life is balanced, man. It's well, you balanced. Got, yeah, you've got to, if you're balanced, you're much better off, certainly. If you're tripping to this world in uh, light, fantastic. And, uh, yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah, because whatever you make of this crap on the radio, one way or the other, uh, I get along fine with my wife. So the rest of it's just um, cake, you know. Hey, is there anything that you'd like to say to the uh, listening NSA authority mm. at the present moment? Thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. I appreciate well, your time in making sure that our words are heard. Our, we're safe. Yes. Well, I'm I'm public, so I'm not I'm not worried about any of the words I say. I don't care. It's just an opinion about something. Who the fuck am I going to hurt? Nobody. I'm just talking about shit. Hey, you know what? I'd be really disappointed to find out they just sent this thing through like a uh, uh, what an algorithm thing. In our no, I don't know. Maybe we should yeah. say words. 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 Right. Words. I already did. I said thank you. Oh, that's not enough. See, look. I'm on a one-man quest to make the world a little bit nicer. And it works. I'm doing just fucking fine. But you like to fight, don't you? Not anymore. Not for about 30 years. Well, you like to fight with Hansel. Oh, verbally. Nah, yeah. nah that's, that not, count? that's not fighting, that's man. Just that's fun. boredom. That's just it's fun. not even fun. It's just, I'm too bored to type, ignore Han, um, J. Dredd. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. What? <laughs> don't yeah, lie. Don't lie. Bothered. You like to I've, fight, Mister. I've got. I think I got him on. Uh, I can see him. Yeah, he's right. Yeah, his usual crap is all is over the typing? place. I don't know if he's that, typing. Oh, there anything. it is. Mal, your team shoots down. See, uh, Will's claims. <laughs> draft. <laughs> what is that? Trump. Mean? Now, who gives a fuck? I don't know. When it's I see more that, Trump, I just keep I mean, going. My eyes usually don't even see anything else. More of that mumbo jumbo to keep the sheep in line, you know. Because I'll tell you, Boston is you know the the founding fucking place of America. You think of right Boston, and then when I when I saw that Marathon Day thing where they the military went fucking door to door and everybody complied because they didn't want to get shot. I went, yeah, they're they're gonna, yeah, those people are, they're gonna stand against the government, all right. Have you, you just watched? Did you hear of anybody that resisted any of that and any repercussions? No, no fucking Nobody way. Nobody, you don't think did? No, it was on TV. I was, I no, I remember seeing it on a TV set. No, nobody, everybody was, just, Mr. Mr. Military, you can look at wherever you want, and wow, a warrantless search like that. Wow, with military in America, I don't, how many fucking layers of their own fucking legal did they break doing that? But the, the the population is just a bunch of okay, sure. Wow, they talk a big game, but I don't know. I don't think people got a big game left in them. I think it was secretly beaten out of them by a bank. <laughs> They're strong and tough on a keyboard, you know. That's where it matters. But out in public, oh, they're tough. And fuck you. Out in public, we're all the fucking same. Or you get locked up or shot. <laughs> it's not hard to figure out. So, if you know, you like to tell people what a brute you are and how tough you are. And all, you're full of shit. <laughs> I'll not. rip your head off. <laughs> Take a shit your down neck. your neck. 
That's right. I'll Whatever. shoot your ten bra- badge off, buddy. <laughs> uh, you think the world is going to make it? Hey, uh, James Freeman and News is live now at Fort uh, well, Wachucha. I, I'm going to get ready and start tapping up some notes for Grimnir. We do it my way now. Ah, we do it my way. Wait a minute. What do we do your way? That's what Uh-oh. I'm going to click on it. I'm opening it up. I'll go, go ahead and start, your though, anyways. Uh, so I to. traveled all the way I was getting an Arizona. update on my Thunderbird. It's updated. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Uh, oh, yeah, we're on the radio. That's right. He's we're laughing. still on. We're still live. I thought you're going to do the uh, lineup, you bonehead. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah, did yeah. <laughs> we got five minutes here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, all right. Well, before that. Off. Or even better, post a post a copy of the damn thing. I can get a copy of it. <coughs> Hold on a minute. All right, go get a copy and uh, I'll I'll say it out loud. Say it, say it, say it out loud. <laughs> oh, I'm singing it out loud. Wait a minute. All right, uh, let me say it out loud. Stop it, Benny! You're killing me. Well, I want to tell you right now that this Tuesday you're in a uh-huh. perfect world, and you can be in the perfect world every Tuesday. At 1 o'clock Eastern, right here on RealLibertyMedia.com. That means tomorrow is blast-off time. That's right. Grammy's got that rocket chair going, so get on over here at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Brings us around to Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern. We have Mr. Flash, somebody himself, solo. We can barely hear him, but hey, such a deal. (laughs) 20% off, my friend. And I... Me, hey, you got somebody in the business right here. I'll hook you up. I'll get you a coupon for an additional 20% off for the low, 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 low fee of nine ninety five. That's right. Does that sound good? Wow. Is that too much? I, 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 slash it. I We're cutting it in half. Five bucks right now. One time deal. <laughs> Five bucks. Send it in to Grimner. You've seen the link right there. Right there. Donate button. Five bucks. Yeah, yeah. Five bucks. That's good. Come on. Such a deal. How can you resist? Such a, uh, I don't know. Give him, give him 20% off of that, Flash somebody. <laughs> That's right. And no, another 20 cents off the dollar for you, my Isn't friend. Isn't that something that it would cost you more to send $4 than it would be and worth it? No, you, know, you can send it for you free on it PayPal. Yeah. That's what I mean, unless you do it electronic. Well, I don't do finance electronic like well, that. well. It's still it's it's a great deal. I'd like to encourage you to consider this one time deal. And listen, time's running out, so act fast. Right? Yeah, okay. fast. Right. Well I'm typing, you're asking me. Questions. Oh, you're typing. Oh keep typing. Never mind. Uh, so back to the schedule. Say it. What? Doing the notes for the show. That's a very good thing for you to do, my friend. So come on, You're welcome. Come on and have a ponder gander. What matters at noon o'clock Central Time? That's right, noon o'clock, and that's on Friday. Uh, if you need it in the Eastern Time, it's 1 p.m. There you go. And then at 7 p.m. Eastern, Grammy's back again. That's right. Blast off on Freakers Friday. That's free, spelled with a F R double E. That's right. Said that so easily. And at 11 p.m. Eastern, it's the Freakers Ball, y'all. And we'll move you be along. If not, I'll be balls to the walls. Which brings us around to the dork table the next day at noon <laughs> Eastern. With Mr. Flash, somebody, and perhaps a captured co host. <laughs> uh, perhaps. <laughs> perhaps. It makes no difference. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, what can I say? Well, Sunday, that's something to say. Sunday, we're uh, playing trivia over here. And that starts at about 12 o'clock Eastern Time. But if you come in about 15 minutes early, you'll hear Grimner tuning up the instrumentation for uh, three oh. hours of blues, baby. So bring your fast fingers and your ears right on along to Real Liberty Media and listen along to the song. And the ding dong of the bell as you're winning. Winning the trivia. Rack up them points, baby. And then, Mr. Hal Anthony. Noon o'clock on the Pacific side of the world in the market. That's right. Noon o'clock on the left coast. 
from behind the woodshed, how lengthy he comes, to tell you where we're at and where the oppression lies and how to get around getting run over. So come for some free lessons. Absolutely free. No cost to you. 100% free. Be here. And once you get your belly full of that, you come on back Monday night at 7 p.m. Eastern for Grim Leftovers. Mm. Yum, yum. Get your belly full. That's it, Mister. We okay. Come, we come back to next Tuesday. Con Thanks, everybody. Contrast in the occupation. Thank you. Let's, uh, wait. Oh, I got bus. Push the button. Stop. <laughs>